I'm going to talk about 15.2% and what that percentage implies in the video that I'm going to share with you today. This percentage contains roughly 17 million senior citizens right now in the year 2024. The video focuses primarily on that subject. Let's get right down to business and check out all the specifics. In light of the fact that many of you who watch the channel's films are people who get a fixed income or who are low-income seniors who rely on Social Security benefits, I am aware that there was a report that was released not too long ago that I would want to concentrate on in this movie. This is something that you have certainly heard me explain a million times in previous videos. The benefits provided by Social Security ought to be improved, particularly for those who receive them on a modest income. And, if you can believe it, there are currently initiatives in place to accomplish precisely that. This research, which was just recently made public, will shed light on the significance of expanding these benefits for millions of people who are eligible to receive them. There are approximately 17 million people aged 65 and above, which accounts for 15.2% of the total population. What is the reason that I would want to concentrate on it for you in this video? Okay, so let me go over a variety of different data and facts from the report that was just released, as well as what this means for those with low incomes, fixed incomes, people who receive Social Security benefits, and, of course, senior citizens. So, this is what it boils down to in the end. In addition, these are some numbers that are quite surprising. It is the highest amount, the largest proportion that we have seen in a very long time, and it is perhaps the highest percentage that we have ever seen. To summarize, this is what it all comes down to. The findings of this study, which were published, indicate that as of the year 2024, 15.2% of senior citizens age 65 and older are affected by poverty. Seriously, this is the situation that exists right now. It is estimated that more than 17 million seniors, or 15.2% of the senior population, live below the federal poverty level. It's possible that you're wondering what the federal poverty level is at this point. What exactly is the measure that we are discussing here? The federal poverty limit has a little increase on an annual basis. This year, it increased by 3. 29% compared to the previous year, increasing by $480 to $15,060, which is the new federal poverty level which will be implemented in 2024. Is that correct? In a nutshell, this indicates that 17 million elderly citizens aged 65 and older have an annual income of less than $15,060, either this year or in 2024. That is a rather unsettling statistic. Let me tell you anything, okay? If I understand correctly, this is equivalent to the federal poverty threshold of $1,255 a month. To put it another way, this indicates that 17 million elderly citizens have an income that is lower than $1,255. The fact that they make $1,255 per month suggests that their income is lower than the threshold. Is that correct? It is important to keep in mind that the typical amount of the Social Security retirement income was around $1,907 until the beginning of this year. At the beginning of the year, things were just like that alterations are made on a consistent basis. This is due to the fact that a vast number of individuals become eligible for Social Security benefits on a daily basis. Additionally, it is possible that you have saw my video from the other day, in which I mentioned the fact that 11,000 people become eligible for Social Security benefits on a daily basis. <laughs> That's incredible, isn't it? There are 11,000 people who are affected every single day which is why they refer to it as the silver tsunami, okay? Whatever the case may be, these are the particulars that I wanted to bring to your attention, all right? Are there any aspects of this circumstance that leave us feeling uneasy, unsettling, or a little bit off? I am also able to recall this one. A number of years ago, the President of the United States made a statement that no elderly person or person with a disability should ever be forced to live in poverty in the United States. All right. Simply said, that is a stunning assertion. <sighs> I concur with you. The comment that you just made is just fantastic. Having said that, let us have a look at the numbers. That's where the numbers are. Is that okay? The fact that 15.2% of those aged 65 and older are living in poverty is made abundantly clear by this. That constitutes a very substantial sum. Now here's the thing. According to the statistics, over the course of the past few years, 
we've been approaching 10.3 to 10.7% of senior citizens who are living in poverty, all right? In one year, this resulted in a rise of approximately 50% or little less than 45 to 47%. Yes, that is a cause for concern. Now, why is that? It's possible that we are thinking, okay, that's a great leap. Could this have happened for what reason? To put it simply, inflation is the essence of the matter. Can you agree? It would appear that inflation is essentially driving up the expenses of everything, and incomes are not keeping up with this trend, right? Keeping in mind that there are other factors at play here is important. While inflation and buying power are both significant determinants, earnings are also a significant impact. As a result of the fact that incomes are not keeping pace with actual inflation and the fact that the federal poverty level is increasing for a variety of reasons, people are falling more and further behind. People lag behind and what do you think happens? Are you correct in saying that they are currently living much below the federal poverty threshold? One more item that I would want to bring to your attention in a swift manner is that we are aware of the SSI program, which is an acronym that stands for Supplemental Security Income. Is that correct? Checks are distributed to more than 8 million people on a monthly basis. What is the difference between these benefits and the federal poverty line? Lower or higher? This is not a challenge question at all. We are all aware that the amount below is significantly lower than the federal poverty level, right? An individual who is receiving SSI will now receive a maximum monthly payout of $943 in the year 2024. To put it into perspective, does the federal poverty threshold amount to less than $1,255 a month? That is obvious, isn't it? What do you mean when you say that? In comparison to the federal poverty level, how much lower is the monthly income of $312? This one benefit program, which focuses mostly on people aged 65 and older who have limited income and resources, or certainly those who have an income, or, well, I apologize, those who are under the age of 65 and have impairments, is what this program is about. In every sense of the word, this curriculum was developed just for this group of individuals. Simply increasing those benefits to the level that would be considered poverty by the federal government would pull 8 million people out of poverty. Do you consider that to be a victory? Wouldn't that be a substantial victory? Consequently, it is evident that not all people who receive SSI benefits are 65 or older. Let's assume that around half of them are. It's okay if we assume that there are 4 million people, right? Let's simply claim that this is the case. As of right now, there are 17 million persons aged 65 and over who are living in poverty. Imagine for a moment if 4 million people, or half of those receiving Social Security interest payments, are elderly citizens aged 65 and older. To reiterate, I am merely making use of wonderful round numbers here for the sake of mathematical simplicity. The number of people over the age of 65 who are living in poverty